The Book of Eov, Job, Chapter 31 I made a covenant with my eyes not to let them lust after any girl. What share does God give from above? What is the heritage from Shaddai on high? Isn't it calamity to the unrighteous, disaster to those who do evil? Doesn't he see my ways and count all my steps? If I have gone along with falsehood, if my feet have hurried to deceit, then let me be weighed on an honest scale, so that God will know my integrity. If my steps have wandered from the way, if my heart has followed my eyes, if the least dirt has stuck to my hands, then let me sow and someone else eat. Let what grows from my fields be uprooted. If my heart has been enticed toward a woman, and I have lain in wait at my neighbor's door, then let my wife grind for another man, and let others kneel on her. For that would be a heinous act, a criminal offense, a fire that would burn to the depths of Abaddon, uprooting all I produce. If I ever rejected my slave or slave girl's cause when they brought legal action against me, then what would I do if God stood up? Were he to intervene, what answer could I give? Didn't he who made me in the womb make them too? Didn't the same one shape us both before our birth? If I held back anything needed by the poor, or made a widow's eye grow dim with tears, or ate my portion of food for myself without letting the orphan eat any of it? No. From my youth he grew up with me as if with a father, and I have been her guide from my mother's womb. Or if I saw a traveler needing clothing, someone in need who had no covering, who didn't bless me from his heart for being warmed with the fleece from my sheep, or if I lifted my hand against an orphan, knowing that no one would dare charge me in court, then let my arm fall from its socket, and let my forearm be broken at the elbow. For calamity from God has always terrified me. Before his majesty I could never do a thing like that. If I made gold my hope, if I said to find gold, you are my security, if I took joy in my great wealth, in my having acquired so much, or if on seeing the shining sun or the full moon as it moved through the sky, my heart was secretly seduced so that I would wave them with a kiss with my hand, then this too would be a criminal offense, for I would have been lying to God on high. Did I rejoice at the destruction of him who hated me? Was I filled with glee when disaster overtook him? No, I did not allow my mouth to sin by asking for his life with a curse. Was there anyone in my tent who didn't say, No one can find a single person whom he has not filled with his meat? No stranger had to sleep in the street. I kept my house open to the traveler. If I concealed my sins, as most people do, by hiding my wrongdoing in my heart, from fear of general gossip or dread of some family's contempt, keeping silent and not going outdoors, I wish I had someone who would listen to me. Here is my signature. Let Shaddai answer me. I wish I had the indictment my adversary has written. I would carry it on my shoulders. I would bind it on me like a crown. I would declare to him every one of my steps. I would approach him like a prince. If my land cried out against me, if, it, if its furrows wept together, if I ate its produce without paying or made its owner despair, owner's despair, then let thistles grow instead of wheat, and noxious weeds instead of barley. The words of Eov are finished. End of Job chapter 31.